head into Bally's any second now. But first, today starts a series of five videos on poker skills that have nothing to do with playing hands. Today, first one, covering your cards. in the poker room so I came to Cafe Madeline Bea. Cafe Bea Madeline. Got it mixed up. The water is for an employee in the poker room, the orange juice is for an employee in the poker room, and the Gatorade's for me. Had to uh, walk to CVS, get some goldfish. But despite what Brad Owen thinks, covering your cards is a skill in poker. It's not a difficult skill. It's not difficult to be good at it. It's definitely part of poker, and it is a skill you should be good at. So a few days ago, I saw this tweet. Uh, this guy, Patrick, says what he says here. And my guess is, because I didn't watch the video, either a guy was poor at looking at his cards, or like after turn action, the guy thought it was the river, and the hand was over, and he flipped his cards up. I don't know, but... I said what I've been saying this whole video to Patrick, and then Brad Owen entered the conversation talking about bicycles, which is a pretty weak, weak comeback, but I'll put the link to this thread in the description. Uh, Brad Owen said a few things, and then a guy I played with once at MGM started uh, coming to Brad Owen's rescue and making up lies about me. You could read it if you want to. And by the way, the biggest problem with uh, Brad Owen's line of thinking is any time now that someone feels he's losing a hand against Brad Owen, he could just expose his cards accidentally on purpose, and there's a precedent for Brad Owen giving the money back to that player. So it's a terrible thing to do. Covering your cards, you should be good at it. If you're bad at it, something bad's gonna happen. If you're bad at three betting, something bad's gonna happen. If you're bad at defending out of the big blind, something bad is gonna happen. If there is a skill you're good at, Good things will happen because of it. If there's a skill you're bad at, negative things will happen because of it. I don't think a lot of people understand how often you can see someone's cards. I would say when I'm playing every day like I am right now, I would say once a week you could see someone's cards. Both their cards every time they look at them. And every single time you play, you can see something. The suit, the color, whether it's a zero, two, three, or four across, whether it's paint or not, you could see something every single time you sit. I've never tried to see someone's cards, but I've seen people's cards all the time. I've seen the one seats cards from the six. I've seen the six seats cards from the one. Think about the layout of a table and how impossible that should be. That's happened. I've seen the nine seats cards from the one. I've seen the sixes from the seven. I've seen the fives cards from the six. It happens all the time. So in addition to it being a skill, and if you're bad at covering your cards, other people can see them. Even if you wanted to tell and like redo a hand or have a misdeal when someone shows their cards, we would just never see a hand. It happens every single hand that's dealt. Someone is poor at covering his or her cards, and someone else has the ability to see it. What's funny though is it rarely actually helps. I know once where I bluffed a guy, I had slightly worse than his high card, and I know another time, not that it really would have played out differently, but I saw the guy's cards. I had a I had a flush, he had three of a kind, not much different would have happened. It rarely helps. Uh, usually there's another person in the hand and it foils anything you would do against uh, you know, the player who's exposing his or her cards. It rarely means you're like winning giant chunks of money you wouldn't normally. So I don't tell people when they're showing their cards, uh, I'm not playing against toddlers, I'm playing against adults who know they're playing for money and know they should be trying to conceal their cards. If they're terrible at it, then they're terrible at it. There are things I'm not good at in poker and I don't get free passes because of it. So I know some people will tell a player the first time and no time after that. If you do that, that's fine. I don't, I just uh, never say a word and it's a part of poker and tomorrow, and the following three days, I will tell you uh, four other things that are skills in poker that have nothing to do with playing hands. So uh, thanks for watching.